Hello, welcome to lesson 67, His versus As keywords in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Is keyword and what is As keyword and the difference between Is and As keyword. Right now, we'll understand what is Is and As keyword in C Sharp. Typecasting is one of the most uh, unavoidable things in uh, software development, and in many situations, we need to convert one object type to another object type, and sometimes we get an exception telling you like cannot implicitly convert type object one to object two. And in C Sharp to avoid this exception or to fix this exception, it provides two important and beautiful keywords. They are is and as. Right now we'll understand is is keyword. This is operator or the keyword checks whether the type of an given object is compatible with the new object type. Okay. And as the sentence explains you, it's going to return you a true or false. It is a Boolean value. Okay. If it is true, for example, if the converted object is compatible with that new type, then it's going to return true. Okay. And it's going to return false if the converted object is not compatible with that new return type. Okay. And there is a special case for null objects, it's going to return false. And this is the syntax how the is keyword looks like bool and we have a variable called is object and we are checking here this object is of this type is this type okay if it is perfect or compatible with that type then it's going to return true and if it's not compatible with that type or of not that type then it's going to return false and for null objects it's going to return false let us see a demo of it okay uh, let me create a class class name will be employee okay public int employee id and let me create public string employee name fine let me create the same class for student also this is student let me copy this and let me paste here and make it as student id and this is student name okay now i'm having two classes class employee and student each of them having two fields employee id employee name and student id student name respectively now what i'll do in my main method i'll create an object of employee employee and my object name will be employee emp obj this is my object name and let me my uh, object will be having uh, will be having the capacity to access the fields present in that respective class employee id this is 100 uh, employee object dot employee name is equal to uh, mark fine and let me create an object of uh, student my object name will be student obj is equal to new okay student obj dot student id that it be 101 J student name let it be mary okay fine now what I do I just created two classes employee and student and I've created an object of each of them and I've assigned the values to the respective fields present in them now let us make use of an is keyword how to do that let me create an, uh, a boolean variable and its boolean variable name is, is student is equal to now let us ch check whether the student type student object uh, sto obj is of that type is of student type okay how to do that um, stu obj is uh, of student type okay and if this is true it's going to return true here and if this is false if it's not compatible then it return false okay and let us see the other ex other extra special case like if it is uh, null what is going to happen right now this and let me tell like student object is student let me question in the And let me make use of the placeholder. Uh, your is student. Let it, let me convert it into string type. Okay. And let me copy this piece of code. Okay. Here I'm going to check is this student is the employee object is of student type. Okay. Obviously not. Okay. And this it's going to return us false. Emp obj. Okay. 
and this is going to return as false for sure and we have a special case like if uh, that object is of empty type what we are going to do like student object is equal to it's going to return false as we know it and let me copy this console dot write line just to save them okay control v and here you can specify like uh, student object but this is of null type is student okay now let us run this program let us see what is the output we are going to get okay and this is the output okay let me minimize this okay let me compare here for example okay first type it's saying like student object is of student as obviously it is true and it's in this student variable it's going to store the value true and this happens here and employee object is of student type no it has to return false okay see so here we are getting that and if that student object is null as i said in the presentation it's going to return false and that's what happens here you can observe it's going to it's going to returning as false okay and that's what we learned uh, how is keyword is going to work in this beautiful example right now uh, let me jump back to presentation and let us learn what is this has keyword this as operator does the same job of is operator but the difference is instead of returning a boolean value it returns the object if they are compatible to that type okay and else if it is not compatible to the newly converted object it returns f null okay and that's what we are, we are going to see in this as operator and the syntax is something like this type object is equal to object as type okay we are, let us understand this when we see a demo and right now uh, let me jump to visual studio the same example but i'm going to alter some piece of code here okay uh, now what i'm going to do here is le let me write one method public and it is of static type it's going to return string and the method name is check and validate object okay and this is going to take a parameter of dynamic type and the parameter name is object okay and your let us what is going to do okay now what as we saw in the syntax how the syntax of as keyword will be type object is equal to object as type so uh, let me take a student type stu obj is equal to and this parameter should be the input parameter object and the keyword is as is of the student type okay okay now let me check another condition like if it is null um, student object if it is not equal to null what it has to do it has to return the value coming here okay it has to return this is student and name is and uh, it has to return like not a name not a not a student sorry okay and now what I'll do is uh, let me come here and let me make use of okay EMP object is student okay zero and what is the method check and validate object let me pass your EMP object okay and this works fine okay if it is of student object stu obj is student type questioning and the colon and let me make use of placeholder again and let me call that method check and validate object and here let me pass the object of uh, student type okay and now run, when I run this program let us understand what is the output is going to do okay employee object is of student type and it is telling no it's not as it's not a student it's of employee type so uh, let me open this or let me scroll this again at the bottom and let me minimize this window for a while okay you can observe you can observe like 
employee for the first sentence you can observe here like uh, employee object is a student and we are passing the employee object and this comes to this method and is checking whether this employee object is of student type so uh, if it is of student type return that student name but that is not of the student type so it's returning not a student and the second one you can observe here we are passing the student object itself so it's telling like student is a student object is a student yes and this is student and its name is Mary okay and that's what we learned the usage of is and as operator uh, how what is is and uh, how, what is is operator is going to return it's going to return the boolean values true or false but uh, what is that as operator going to return this as operator is going to return the object uh, if it is if it is true or uh, if uh, if the, if that uh, converted type is compatible with that new type it's going to return the object or else it's going to return null okay and that's what we are checking here in this piece of code and that's what we learned about is and as operator and right now we'll see the advantage of as over is okay in the case of is operator to typecast we need to do two steps first check the type using is and if it is true then typecast okay here we are following the two steps to for to work with the is operator actually uh, this affects the performance of uh, uh, application and uh, every time the CLR will walk the in inheritance hierarchy and checking each base type against a specified type and that's the problem with is operator to avoid this use as keyword and it will do in a single step okay that's what the advantage of uh, as over is okay and only for checking the type we should use the is keyword okay if you are only if you explicitly want to check the type then go and use the is keyword or um, use the as keyword itself okay uh, which will uh, avoid the system performance or the application performance um, going bad okay and that's what about is and as uh, keyword that what we learned in this session and finally um, thank you for listening have a great day don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Anchor Training and also don't forget to give the valuable feedback. Thank you.